subscribe to my channels. Guys, I'm about to do some adjustments to my koi pond. Wanted to put a roof on. So I hired a contractor to build this roof. <clears throat> this is the plates they'll be using on top of the pond. I'm not too clear how they're going to do this. How much they have here? Two, six, <clears throat> four. So, I was trying to get a kind of a sort of Japanese finish. It's, <laughs> I'm not too sure how this is going to set up though. Um, I suspect they'll be doing some welding here, clearly, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, this is the this, this cichlid pond, rough. The direction I gave was really supposed to be a two-post two -post system, two, two, two foot. And then the roof. Um, <clears throat> I'm really not sure how it's going to be supported though. So, <laughs> you know, I'm going to wait to see how it, it is. I'm not sure what's this foot in here because if I walk down here, this is the bigger part this one um, from how I see it the foot is already there right the foot is attached to the horizontal bar um, yeah two sides yeah um and then <clears throat> these wrapped up what we'll call rafters seven of them will run on top of this um got this going on each side rafters running across on it protruding this one here, the smaller pond, I didn't have it protruding because of the space between the smaller pond, which is the, over there, guys. It's close to the house wall. So, um, I told them finish it at the end of the pond so it's not protruding to damage me or damage anyone. I must say this looks heavy though because I'm not sure how this is going to be supported. I'm not even sure if it's upside down or I want to think it's upside down though. All right, so the the black runners there will be to the top, and if I decide to put galvanized sheet in, because I was trying to find a kind of plexi finish for the roof, and especially with the cichlid pond cover. Um, I wanted to get the I wanted to get the um, clear so the sun could still go tr come through um, because I have some algae fish algae eating fishes cichlids Du Boise cichlid and some other exotics that feed, feed on algae what are these two posts here though? If, if I'm estimating, then um, the bigger pond is these red rafters here and those two frames down there. So that means this one here is the roof. How is this being supported? I mean, when I looked at the weight of this, 
I don't know how is this being supported. And this is this is the only two lengths I'm seeing here. But these are not two even lengths. So I don't know guys, but I don't know. <laughs> but I'm sure these guys are going to to deal with that. But I must say I'm so far so good guys. I'll update you all on how the how it comes along. But today's the Friday. What's the date today? Friday. Monday was Valentine's Day 14, 15, 16, 17. Friday the 18th. Um Friday the 18th. So tomorrow the 19th. I don't know if they'll take a day or two. So the one other thing they're supposed to bring red galvanized shootings. Um, for the top so the way I did it I have the red rafters then I have a black frame and then the red roof so you see the red and black intermix into most um, the only thing is the underneath of the let me show you all the underneath of the sheeting where's the sample Can this be seen? Alright, this is the galvanized sheets. Almost same color with the yeah. Right, the underneath, however, is this gray. So I asked him to paint the underneath. So we'll see how that goes. Or if the gray doesn't look so bad, I'll just leave it gray because I don't know, I really don't want them doing too much of that paint in here. I mean, the truth is this red here has nothing to do with my house color. And he did want to kind of coordinate the, the colors, but I was more interested in getting, you know, a kind of Japanese theme. <clears throat> so we'll see how it goes. So this is the color red I'm going with <clears throat> for my roof of the ponds, but the underside is currently this color. This is like a kind of gray, I would say gray silver. Now I got the I got the galvanized. So this is the galvanized sheets for the ponds. Each one will take five sheets. This is the drip edge. This is the frames. All right, um, so, as you can see, the installation is done on the smaller pond already. This is like a side view. Sheets have to go on top there. I know this sun is out, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on here. But essentially, sheets are going to go cover this. I would admit I misinterpreted um, the height. You know, there was a coil upon the view where I looked at this the concept of how high to put it that said the legs should be no less than six feet i find it a little high because they put in another frame on top of this just to hold the on top of these rafters to hold the sheets similar to what is done here um, so visually when you enter when you come, I mean, you can see everything is. I, I didn't want the top to get over the existing roof. The guy told me that um, essentially what is going to happen, I still have to go four inches on top there and then the sheets, right? So it, it won't be over by too much, but it's, it's over because when you look even on this side here, 
kind of hard to see, but I'm thinking I'm already over. Probably not. All right, if you look here, yeah, it looks as if it's already over. But um, essentially, it won't be over by much, I guess. So that was the only thing they did tell me. I could have put the legs about five and a half feet. I guess catering for the top. I insisted six feet. But then what I didn't cater for was this this bar that runs uh, runs down this way. Uh, when you add that at six feet three inches. So probably I could have come down three inches. But I'm not losing sleep on that. So but with this cover, I'm really hoping that the midday sunlight, which is some of the hottest light, will not um, come down in the pond. I'll just get the morning and evening sun. And um, of course, that's going to change the game. That's going to change the dynamics of the pond on the whole. Um, I was listening to someone. You know, YouTube have a lot of experienced fish keepers. And they were seeing... Um, Sometimes changes. I think it was Joey DIY King of the Ally. Yeah, I think it was him speaking about changes and the impact changes have small or large changes. The impact it has on your arm when you make these changes on your pond system. So basically I'm waiting to see I decide the, all the adjustments that will take place when I, you know, enter the, when, I, when we put the roof. Um, the amount of algae that the pond gets, I expect that to be reduced because it would be now less sunlight. Um, more so the cichlid pond, I'm a little concerned about because I have some of the boys, the cichlid and some other cichlids that live on the algae. So I'm hoping the morning sun and evening sun will treat with that um, if it doesn't then i can move a couple sheets from the top to allow the sunlight to get in so i'll play that one by air and look to see how it goes but for the other pond i'm expecting the water quality to stay clearer um, you know slower at less algae growth um, because it's not direct sun it shouldn't get green quickly so i'll be monitoring that and of course you know We'll see how it goes. The guy is supposed to come back again tomorrow, day two, to put up the sheets and respray wherever there are scratches and stuff. And then that will be the end of the roofing system for the ponds. And then I'll be able to finish off probably some works on the, the grounds, etc. Probably do some tiling, etc. So I'll keep you guys posted. So now you can see the finished product of the the pond roofs, the pond roofs. As you see, I have the bigger roof for the koi pond, koi shark pond. Six feet tall is the post, and then of course the roof went higher. If I had to do it over again, I think. Um, while it was recommended to go six feet post by a YouTuber, I would have looked at. Um, I think if I had brought it down, probably about half a foot or one foot, I could have gotten the true impact of it lowered. I may be wrong though, but all in all, pretty decent job. Also, um, these rafters that's in red there are running along this main beam, the black beam. It's sitting on top of the beam. Again, I may have also cut into that beam. That's about three, a three inch by three inch RHS steel. Could have cut into it to fit the rafter so it would have gotten the real effect of the Pogolo type Japanese roof cover but those are some minor details that I would have made some adjustments for
But all in all, pretty solid work. Pretty good work. It just has to be now, I guess, <laughs> wind tested, hurricane tested. Hopefully, we don't get any breeze to challenge it. I also have this smaller one. Now, this smaller one, the concept of this smaller pond is the cichlid pond. The concept of this pond was really to um, not go above this wall. So, this one didn't have any I didn't try to make it um, too tall and again it, the, the main roof for the house is right there anyway so but it's given good coverage the only thing I will say is that um, I'm not sure I'm still monitoring the lights light ratio the light intensity um, that comes into this spawn I have to clean the pond, the water isn't really very clear. And you know that's going to strike a debate with me now on the role of sun in these outdoor ponds. But I'm, I'm still going to monitor it um, to figure out, you know, if this was a good decision. Because as I said, you're not seeing a lot of sun. It does get the morning sun and the evening sun now. Um, I'm going to see how long the water remains a little clear. Try to do an analysis between how long the water takes to get fully a lot of moss. Um, now that there's less sun, less direct overhead sun coming in. So Mr. Oscar clearly is hungry. I'll feed him in a bit. Alright, so on the koi point side, what I'm planning to do next, I'm going to, um, I'm planning to get some solar panel lights for out here. Most of them I'm looking at right now, the lights, um, the lights are not coming on bright um, for most of the time unless there's motion. It will come on bright. I'm trying to find one that could give me an option to have a bright light running as long as I want it to run so that it could reflect in the water any night. But I, it must be solar panels. So I'm still looking for those. I did see one that I could take consider so far. It's not, it's not doing the bright light, but it's doing a reasonable amount of light. It call it dim. Right, and when motion happens, it gets bright. The question is, how bright is the dim? And uh, you know, I, I suspect the dim could be reasonably bright anyway. But I'll put it on the roof and have the panel, of course, facing the, the light, the sun, and then get the light aiming in the pond. I'll probably get two for this pond and one for the smaller um, pond. So some of the other works I'm planning to do, as you can see the ground here, it had lawn in this area. Um, it was, it, it, when rain fell, it would be saturated. Water would kind of settle here, but now because of the, um, this roof, I've noticed that's no longer a problem. So I'm thinking that I could um, either plant back the turf here it will catch to this area or oh, this area I will move the tile in it I think I was going to tile up until about here back to the wall there so um, those are some of the things that I still need to get done before I even finish because you know I'm in the process of painting my home paint repainting my home and those odd details are things that I want to get out of the way so as I said I'm going to monitor the um, the water clarity of the pond now that there's no sunlight hitting it direct all day um, 
You can see the fish, they don't need to be down to the bottom. It's, it's not so much a bright sunny day anyway. But the fish, and, the fish is not uh, necessarily swimming to the bottom of the pond as they do when the sunlight is high, hot. Um, you can see they coming up and stuff like normal. So I think that's having a good impact on them. But what I did see also in the beginning, I have to see it's a change in the whole setup. So I'll have to monitor how the water conditions are, how the fish operating because there's going to be a change in the whole chemistry of the water, the whole nitrogen cycle I guess will change now that this has a cover. Hopefully it's changed to the best and um, it's not a, a stressful type situation we're dealing with. Subscribe to my channels.